Today, we're going to be talking about extrophy, or when a baby is born with some inner abdominal organs and structures that are exposed on the outside of the body. But first, Children's Mercy Hospital is here for you. It can be overwhelming when your child is diagnosed with extrophy. It's a very rare condition, so you may not have heard of it before or know anyone else whose child was born with an extrophy. You are not alone. We are here, and we are ready to both treat your baby's extrophy now and help them grow up healthy in the future. There are two main types of extrophies, bladder extrophy and cloacal extrophy. Let's start with bladder extrophy, which is when babies are born with their bladder and urethra outside of their abdomen. The bladder is turned inside out. This is caused by the bladder wall turning outward through an opening in the abdominal wall. Since the lining of the bladder is exposed, urine leaks out instead of being held inside. Another variation of bladder extrophy is called epispadius. This happens when there is an opening in the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of the body from the bladder. There are common characteristics of bladder extrophy for both male and female babies. In male babies, the penis may be flatter, shorter, and open to the bladder at the top. In female babies, the clitoris may be separated into a right and left half. If your baby has bladder extrophy, surgery is required. In the past, some babies would have multiple operations, but now your doctors may be able to repair it in one or two procedures, known as a complete primary repair. A more severe type of extrophy we treat at the Comprehensive Colorectal Center is called a cloacal extrophy. This is like bladder extrophy, except parts of the intestines and other intra-abdominal organs are also outside the body, and other organ systems may have malformations. Cloacal extrophy is more complicated than bladder extrophy. Sometimes parts of the colon and small intestines are exposed. They can poke through the umbilical cord area, which is called the umphalocele. Because the intestines and colon are not where they should be in babies born with cloacal extrophy, these babies aren't able to poop normally. All of the characteristics of bladder extrophy are typically found in cloacal extrophy. Exposed open bladder causing urine leaking. In male babies, the penis may be flatter, shorter, and separated into two halves. In female babies, the clitoris may be separated into a right and left half as well. We also know that cloacal extrophies often have malformations that go together called OEIS, a combination of conditions that show up together. This stands for omphalocele, extrophy, imperforate anus, and spinal defects. Omphalocele, the organs that poke into the umbilical cord area. Extrophy, the bladder, colon, and rectum may all be exposed and in two parts. Imperforate anus, the anal opening may be missing or in the wrong place, and major and minor spinal defects can also occur. No one knows exactly what causes bladder extrophy or cloacal extrophy. We do know that extrophies develop early in pregnancy. They can sometimes be diagnosed before birth with a sonogram. Sometimes they are discovered when the baby is born. After diagnosis, your doctor will order tests to better understand your baby's extrophy and make a treatment plan. Babies with extrophies need surgery, so their organs are protected and their bodies can get rid of pee and poop safely. Special surgeries performed, sometimes a series of surgeries, or stage surgeries are needed to treat extrophies. Each surgery accomplishes a part of the full reconstruction, allowing healing time in between. Our specialists work together to repair your baby's extrophy and help them grow up healthy. The surgical team often includes a colorectal surgeon, urologist, neurosurgeon, and orthopedic surgeon. Together with you, the team will help your family decide whether it's better to have surgery right away or wait a few months to best help your baby. Babies may stay at the hospital for several weeks after surgery to make sure they heal well. As they grow, children born with bladder extrophies may need additional surgery to help achieve continence or control when they pee. If your baby has a cloacal extrophy, 
your doctors will use a series of surgeries, a staged reconstruction to repair it. In the first phase of treatment, your team will work close to your baby's abdominal wall. They will reroute poop from inside the body to an external bag. This is called a colostomy, and it keeps waste from going to the wrong place and creating infections. And they will move the two halves of the bladder closer together and make sure there is a safe way for urine to leave the body. Your team will give your baby time to heal, then begin the second surgery phase. They will join the two halves of the bladder together and tuck it back in the abdomen. They will create an opening in the tummy wall to let pee out. This is called a vesicostomy. If needed, they will bring the pelvic bones closer together. This is called an osteotomy. When your child is a little older, your team may recommend additional reconstructions of your child's digestive system. They will close the colostomy so your child can pass poop from their bottom. Every child is different and every extra fee is different. Your team will watch your child's growth carefully and recommend treatment for the health of their spine, bladder, kidneys, bowels, heart, and reproductive organs as needed. Children born with extra fees will benefit from lifelong medical monitoring to ensure they have the most independence and greatest quality of life possible. Whether your child has a bladder or cloacal extra fee, we will be with you during the journey, helping guide the care for your child through treatment, healing, and development.